with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today is another Game of Thrones themed soap. I bought a whole bunch of the fragrances from Wholesale Supplies Plus or Crafter's Choice and I am slowly getting around to using them. So today's Game of Thrones fragrance is called Lannister Cabernet. And so I thought I would go with a wine theme on this one. So even if you don't like Game of Thrones or don't know what it is and you like wine, you might like this soap. <laughs> so the fragrance notes, it says nothing but the best drink for it, the house Lannister. Jammy blackberry, strawberry, and raspberry notes are balanced with dry oak wood vanilla bean to make for a rich full-bodied Cabernet. That is the scent we are going to be using today. And I'm going to just start by pouring in my lye solution here. There's distilled water, sodium hydroxide lye. I have some sodium lactate in there, which hardens the bar. And then there is also some Tussa silk in there. I've been using that recently and I'm liking it. So I'm going to pour that into my oils here that have been melted down. They've been left at room temperature. I've also added in some kaolin clay and some coconut milk and I'm just going to mix this up until everything is fully incorporated. So I'm going to start by pouring off some of this batter into this little cup here and I will tell you why in a little bit. But I don't need all of this batter. I'm going to save it for later. So I'm going to pour off about 9 ounces of it, and it will all make sense, I promise. So, set that to the side, and into my big bucket, I am keeping this design simple. Very much like the last Game of Thrones fragrances I've used, I've heard really bad reviews about these, and I want to keep the process of this soap simple, so I'm going to color it with this Merlot Sparkle Mica from Brambleberry. And I think it, it just brings out the Cabernet feel or that dark burgundy cherry-like colors. That is what I really want to go into the soap are those very like maroon, purple, and burgundies to represent the wine. So I'll go ahead and mix all of that in. Mixing in the fragrance over here, and I'm really hoping that it doesn't turn to soap on the stick. I don't mind that it does accelerate because that is what I've read about it. If it does that, that's fine <laughs> because the design for this, this is the design. These are some soap that I rolled up into little balls that look like the grapes. So there's different colors or shades of purples and maroons in there that I have also dusted in some Shimmer Gold by Nurture Soap. And so I'm just going to plop them into my batter as I pour so that when we cut into them, it cuts through them and it looks like little circles or round grapes in there. So let's start pouring into the molds here. I just wanna make sure this is fully mixed in and everything is scraped down. Don't want any an even color or the fragrance to not be evenly mixed in, but I think we're good. So start pouring some in and then start plopping in those soap balls randomly. And if they get misplaced or moved around, that is fine. I just want these to be randomly spread out as it is. So when I poured off a little bit of that batter to the side, it was because I minus the weight of these soap balls from my oil. So there was nine ounces of these. And so I removed nine ounces because this is going to take up some volume and there's going to be like some overfill and we don't want that. So I did a soap very similar to this back in like hmm, 
April of 2018. I did a collaboration with Vanessa over at Moonfern Studios. So I'm kind of taking some inspiration from that soap that I've done as well as the blueberry soap that I did. I'm going to be piping on the pile of grapes on the top of this like I have with the blueberries or the grape um, wine soap that I did before. So let me get the rest of these in, scrape out my bowl, give it a little whack on the ground, get a nice little beat down <laughs> so that all the corners are filled in and that there's not going to be any air pockets in there. So, so far, so good. And then I'll get my icing together. some sour grapes mica that I uh, received as a sample from soapbox micas and I thought I would use that for the grape topping or the icing that I'm going to put on frost some grapes on there so I'm just going to add that sample to my batter here that is going to be the frosting on top of my soap let me get that mixed in and I'll add my lye solution and I'll let this sit and come back and keep stirring it with a spatula until it's at the consistency that I want. All right, let's try and get these grapes piped on here. Today is one of those days where the icing just takes forever to set up, but I think it's at a consistency where I can actually use it and so what I like to do is just start by putting on like little round dollops in all different directions so that when, once they're all piled on top of each other they're going to look like a bunch of grapes or a pile of grapes so that is what I'm doing with that and I tried this before and it's it looks better once you get it cut and I'm going to put leaves on this and some vines so it definitely brings it all together. If you are looking for a wine scent, I highly recommend this guy. I really like him. The notes are very berry of course, there's like the blackberry and the grape in there and I definitely get those coming through but I think it's the addition of the vanilla and the oak in there that really round this out and make it that wine scent so i highly recommend it even if you're like not into game of thrones don't even look at the title of it <laughs> or what it's inspired by or what it's called just look at those notes because they're really nice this is going to take me a while because i really am trying to get them to be round and kill off those points we don't want the pointy grapes so i'll just play around with this a little bit. As I was making those soap balls that I put on the inside of this, I started thinking about like what is something Bradley and I can do because he was off on Monday and I was like let's go get into something and I was, I was rolling up those little balls that reminded me of graves. I'm like why don't we go to a vineyard? It would only make sense. And then I started thinking I really love wine <laughs> and I like visiting all the different vineyards and trying wines I am very much a sweet red or a fruit wine person I don't like any of those like Merlots or like oaky woody finishes that are dry I'm not into those kind of wines I mean I'd probably drink it if you put a glass in front of me I wouldn't be rude but they're not something I would buy and my dream is to have that house with the wine cellar that you can just like go downstairs and pick out a bottle of wine for dinner or if you have guests over knowing me they wouldn't last very long i would never be able to come up with a collection because i would just drink them all it's bad um just because wine is something that i like to drink all year round it really is i'd rather go pick out a pretty bottle of wine at a vineyard or receive a bottle of wine as a gift but we did not go to a vineyard, so 
<laughs> I know where, where I'm going with this. Um, it was just an idea of something to do. I know a lot of vineyards have events that you can go to nowadays like music and food trucks and stuff like that and do wine tastings and eat cheese and that fancy stuff. It's a great social event. Um, we, we started thinking about other vineyards in the area and I remembered a place called Windridge Cidery and I was like, nope, that's where we're going. And we're also going to go pick berries. Hey, no surprise there. You guys know how much I love picking fruit. So I was like, we haven't picked raspberries and blackberries. I gotta add that. And it's only like 94 degrees outside and the humidity is thick as potato soup. But let's go pick some raspberries and blackberries. And we did. We were drenched in sweat afterwards and pretty gross. And I forgot to wear sunblock. But we picked the biggest blackberries I have ever seen. And we picked some golden raspberries. I've never had those before. I've never seen them before. They taste just like a regular raspberry, but they're golden. They're really pretty. And of course, lots and lots and lots of raspberries. So now I don't know if I'm just gonna eat them or if I'm gonna bake with them. So when we were done picking berries, it was off to the, the brewery or the cidery and it was in PA and it was about an hour drive away from us and I looked it up the day before and they served food and I was really excited. It looked like a very pretty place. Typically wineries or breweries have some kind of outdoor area that they fixed up or that has a nice landscape. So we drove there and pulled up and we're like, huh, it's looking a little empty. Maybe they're closed. And since it was, it was a Monday, I went to Google and I looked it up and it says they were closed. So I was really disappointed that we got all the way up there only to find out that they were closed. <laughs> Definitely somewhere we're gonna have to go again, but should have just went to the winery. I'm sure they would have been open. All right, I'm gonna keep piping on this purple here and add my leaves and call it a day. Now that I'm done doing all that, I just wanted to take some gold shimmer and just outline those grapes a little bit so that they match the gold that's on the inside. And you know, just when I think of Game of Thrones and the Lannisters, I think of gold. <laughs> so a little bit of that on there, just a little shimmer. And then I have a leaf tip here with some alpine green mica. And I'm just going to go ahead and add some leaves all over this to look like the grapes. I'll then spray it with some rubbing alcohol and I'll let it sit for 24 hours and when I come back I've got the stamp from Rock and Roberts Design that is the Lannister sigil and I will put that on the front of the soap and call it a day. So ha happy with how the soap turned out so far. Stay tuned for the cutting. Alright, these guys are ready to be cut and I'm going to try and get a little end piece off of here. Just a little bit like that. So that looks good so far. I'm so happy with that. This reminds me very, very much of the April 2018 soap that I made with the uh, Moonfront Studios collaboration that I did. It looks very much the same. <laughs> The top and the sides and everything. I think I like it a little better. The inside obviously is different and I'm gonna put the stamp on it but wow let me back that up so you guys can see it. There you go. I think the top looks like a pile of grapes. I gotta say there are a few little glycerin rivers in there. 
you can see because this did heat up but I'm still happy with it there's the glycerin river, rivers aren't that bad or that noticeable and it's gonna look really good with the stamp on there so that is really cool and it smells so good and I love the purple on top I love all the colors actually I love how all the colors turn down on this soap I think this can go either way for fall or for summer very nice and then as you continue to use this more of those little soapy balls that are supposed to be grapes will come out so there'll be there'll be a surprise on the inside oh I'm so happy with this I think I need to put more grape um, shaped balls in there next time though Oh, I also forgot to tell you guys, I tried um, donut peaches. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of that before. New to me. I think this year's the year of me discovering fruits <laughs> like I, that I've never tried instead of just a regular peach. There are now donut peaches. And they, they're they the cutest little flying saucer shaped peaches I've ever seen. So two, two new fruits I got to try this week were the donut peaches and the um, golden raspberries so that's really cool all right guys these are available for the will be available for the august 23rd release date so if you'd like one mark your calendars for august 23rd i'm gonna put my little stamp on the end or on the front of these that little lannister sigil by rock and roberts so leave his shop down below as well but thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions or comments you can leave them in the comment section down below stay tuned for the august 23rd release date and video and until next time i hope you guys have a very nice day and i'll smell you later